and uh, we're in a real good spot here. Got you know oncoming traffic looking right at the uh, baby's big face there. We sketch out features on the block, and then we just start uh, cutting away. Bruce Quast and his team, the Frosted Flakes, are competing in the Illinois Snow Sculpting Competition. Every year, snow sculptors from across the state plow into Sinisippi Park in Rockford, Illinois, to carve works of art from blocks of snow. Monsters under the bed, kind of scary stories. Since we don't want to stand on it after something's finished, we're kind of starting at the very top and working our way down. So we're kind of wrapping up the blanket and the bed now, and then we'll keep on moving a little farther down. The Windy City Snowmen won last year with their sculpture of President Abraham Lincoln. In one week, they'll compete in the U.S. National Snow Sculpting Competition held in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. We're all sculptors, and uh, so we're making sculpt sculptures like that size. And to make one this size, where else do you get to do that? The event has two divisions. This year, nine teams are competing in the state division, and 17 regional high school teams are vying for first place in their own division. Oh my god, look at all this snow. Students from Rockford East High School are paying homage to rock star Freddie Mercury of the band Queen. We choose four students. They put together all the designs and make all the mock-ups, and really we're just advising them what they can do and they put together exactly what they want to do for a sculpture. The Illinois Snow Sculpting Competition started in 1986 and for the event's first 30 years the Rockford Park District relied on Mother Nature to make the snow. But in 2016 organizers started using snow machines to fill the 10 foot tall and 6 foot wide blocks of snow provided to each state division team. Organizers and competitors must adapt to rising temperatures in recent years. We're a bit too warm now, so it's making uh, the carving a bit more challenging. Uh, the, like the sculptors say, it's kind of like trying to carve mashed potatoes. But, you know, they're starting with such a massive block of snow that they will end up having some nice pieces. It's just, we're not sure how long they'll last. Teams have three days to finish their sculptures, which are judged by their fellow competitors. This year, the sculpture Player Piano by the team Cave People from Space won first place. They're now eligible to compete nationally next year. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Evan Garcia.